Hello everyone and welcome to Developer 3.5 Pro YouTube channel. In this video we are going to add this animated text, tap to start, and we will not be able to move unless we tap on the screen. So when I tap on the screen, the player will start moving forward and we can use the swipe controls to move the player. And also when I replay the game we have this text again. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. First, let's start by creating a simple text in the hierarchy. Use right click UI and let's choose the text. And let's rename this to starting text. Then let's change a little bit some settings over here. For example, let's change the width to 250 and the height to 60. Then let's change the font size to 30 and the font style to bold you can play with these settings then let's change the text to a tap to start then let's align this horizontally and vertically and I'm going to change the color of the text you can choose any color you want from here so I'm gonna choose this one then let's make a simple animation to our text so select your text, then open the animation window using window, animation, animation. So let me put this over here, so that we can see the text and the uh, animation window. And let's create a simple animation using this create button. So I'm gonna put it under a new folder, so let's create a new folder for our animations. And let's call this animations. Inside this folder, let's create the first animation. I'm gonna call it text anim then hit save so I'm going to change the scale of the text in this animation first hit this record button then try to change the scale a little bit and let's give it back to one by one by one and in the first frame then let's go to the 25 or the 30 frame and let's change the scale to 1.5 by 1.5 we don't need to uh, change the z because we have a 2d text then at the frame 60 let's give it back to 1 Now when you hit the play button, you see that we have this animation. Now let's close this window and when you hit play, you see that we have this animation but as you can see the player is moving. So we need to add a little bit of logic so that we cannot move unless we tap on the screen. And to do that, we are going to create a new variable under the player manager script. So under scripts, open the player manager script. Under here, let's create a new boolean variable that is going to tell us if the game is started or not. And let's make it public, static, bool. And let's call this is game started. So by default, the game didn't start. So let's put it to false by default then over here we are going to check if we tap on the screen we are going to set this variable to true so over here we are going to use the swipe manager script using swipe manager dot tap so if we tap on the screen we are going to change the boolean variable is game started to true now in the player manager in the player controller script we are going to check if the game didn't start we will not be able to move so let's open the player controller script under your scripts double click it to open it up 
in Visual Studio and over here we are going to check if player manager dot is game started so if the game isn't started in this case we are going to return so we will not be able to move unless the player manager dot is game started equals to true so the same thing let's put this over here in the fixed update so because here we are moving our character using the direction variable now let's save this and uh, go back into unity and hit this run button you see that we have this text tap to start and the player is not moving so when I tap on the screen you see that we start moving forward and we can use our swipe controls but as you can see we have the text over here we need to delete it when the game started so uh, over here in the player manager script when we tap on the screen we are going to delete the text so let's reference the uh, starting text over here using public text or let's declare it as a game object and let's call this starting text then over here when we tap on the screen we are going to change the is game started boolean variable to true and also we are going to remove the starting text using destroy game object so we have here a predefined method and it's called destroy and we are going to put the starting text game object and it's going to be deleted when we tap on the screen so let's save this and go back into unity hit this run button again but first we need to add the reference to the text so select the player manager empty game object and here we have the starting text game object drag and drop our starting text into this game object variable then let's hit display button you see now we have a game we have this text tap to start and when I tap on the screen you see that we can move using the swipe controls and the text is deleted when we tap on the screen and the same thing when you replay the game we have the text again and you can replay the game over and over again so I hope you enjoyed this video so if you have any question or comment feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and uh, have a great day